In flexible modeling, we can perform a move by defining a dimension. So let's take a look at how to do that. So first I'm going to select this surface over here and I want to move it so it's some dimension off of the surface over there. And so we can use the move command. And by the way, if you use move using draggers I showed in the other video, you can use the drop down list to change to one of the other options like move using dimension. And from the dimensions tab, I can make sure the dimensions collector is active. I'm going to create a dimension between the surface that I'm moving and the surface over here. It tells me right now that's a value of 0.81. Let's double click on the dimension, change it. Oops, fat fingered it. 0.75, enter in the value. And that way we've done a move with a dimension. Let's take a look at another example. So. Here I have these two bosses and I want to move them and have them some distance from the surface over here. So I will start by selecting a seed surface, then use the mini toolbar for the boss selection. I'm going to hold down the control key and select this surface over here. And let's use boss. And that way I've grabbed all that geometry. And so again, we will do move by dimension. And this time I'm going to create a data axis in through the center of the cylinder that I can use to make a dimension. So over on the right, I'll go to the datum drop down. Let's choose axis, pick the surface going down the middle, click OK. And now when I resume the dashboard, I'm going to go to the references tab and in the move curves and datums collector, I'm going to pick that axis so it moves along with this geometry. And for dimensions, when I create the axis, it automatically figured out, oh, you want to use that axis for defining the dimension. That's good. Let's click and hold down control and select the surface over here. And let's change this to a value of 0.5. And hit the check mark. For this third method, I've got these two tabs and for some reason they're floating out in space. And I want to move both of them at the same time. So I'm going to use something called symmetry recognition. So let's turn on our datum plane visibility and I'm going to go to the symmetry command. I'm going to select a surface from that geometry and then hold down the datum plane for right and then when I hit the check mark you'll notice that's highlighting the similar geometry on the other side so that's a symmetry recognition feature it recognizes that those two are sort of like the mirrors of each other about that datum plane so now let's select our surface and I'll use the bosses command from the mini toolbar and in the second mini toolbar let's use the move command Again, I'm going to move using a dimension. And for my dimension, I'm going to define it from that datum plane called right to this surface over here. And from the options tab, there is a collector where I can select a pattern symmetry or mirror feature. So let's grab that symmetry recognition. You'll notice the geometry over on the other side highlighted as well. And so let's go and start dragging this out over here. I want to get it so it ends up intersecting the side surface. So let's use a value of about 0.9 for the move. Then I hit the check mark. And there we've moved both of those tabs at the same time. I hope you enjoyed this video. For more information, please visit www.creowindchill.com. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and click the subscribe button to be informed when new videos are uploaded. Thank you very much.